All right, hey guys, Trey Chris Lima today. We're all back with Stranger Things, season three, episode one. So if you've been following on my channel, I've just finished season one and two, reacting to them. So feel free to check them out if you haven't. I really fucking enjoyed it. It was a great ride, and I'm lucky enough that I can just go straight into season three after watching the first two seasons. So for season three, I feel like I'm gonna jump into a lot more character focus this season, as um, we sort of end off with all our sh the romance. Like a bit of romance at the end of the second season so I feel like they're going to continue that into the third maybe have like some conflicts and also we've got the other we also got the other number eight is it um, roaming around still and if there's any more than just that because we just know <coughs> as we know we're going to know 11 um, <coughs> does that mean there's 11 of us or is it just the one we met um, last season I'm sure she's going to play a role into it basically close the door now so I'm curious how the villain well how the demogorgons are going to affect the world now um, Will's acting was phenomenal. Yeah, one thing I will say about the show, the acting for the kid actors has been fantastic, especially Will. Like the way he played, like being um, took over by the Demogorgon was like amazing. His acting in that. So yeah, I'm expecting sort of a cheerful episode this one. Not cheerful, but more more cheerful episode. And then it's going to do what you did as well, builds up towards something. Um, I have heard this, and from the cast interviews I watched after Office season two, apparently this is going to be a bit darker. So that could be interesting to see what they're going to do with that. And hopefully we don't get the cursive B as we've lost Barbara Bob. Hopefully we don't lose another B this season. I really miss Bob character. I really enjoyed his character. It's quite sad to see him go. Anyway, I'm rambling on a bit now, guys. So otherwise, please, guys, leave a like and subscribe. Um, the likes help massively. And I'm trying to hit like a goal of 3,500 by the end of the year. So every subscriber will help. <coughs> I'm trying to do this as quick as possible. So make sure you subscribe so you get notifications when I upload the rest of the series. But I'm really looking forward to where this could take us. Uh, season two and season season one and season two were fantastic. Hopefully, season three is exactly the same. Let's jump into this. <laughs> Have they made their own gate? Why are they making another fucking gate? Why are they? <laughs> God's sake. I assume they're making another gate. Oh wait. Oh, what is that? You guys are gonna get this. Ha! <laughs> Sit down. Oh, such a sick shot. I just don't get, get what. So what they gain from this. Ah, it's the Russians. I just assume they're American. That's not good. Because I keep forgetting this is sort of set during the Cold War, isn't it? So you got the Russians looking for tech as well. Now let's go back to our little town. I like guys adding Cold War, Cold War aspects into the time because of the time period to set this in. It's a perfect time zone to have these sort of experiments and stuff go off. Oh no, copyrighted music. Why? I will have to mute those guys if there's too much of it. I'm glad it's on a little time skip. It's talking normally as well. That's good. <laughs> That's everything I aspire to be. Is he getting protective? Hopper. Mate, he's that protective dad. Who would have thought? No, Julian. <coughs> smooth, Mike. Smooth. I feel like there's going to be a wrench in this romance at some point. Mate, it's Steve looking fabulous in the outfit. I hope he finds someone. I do like his character. He grew on me a lot in the second season. Oh, really? <laughs> what a troll. Mate, the big power outage. Intense music already. The mystery. This is the line of Stranger Things season one I remember. Pitch black. 
Mate, this city can't get a break. <laughs> how does Will pull off these fucking terrified faces? Oh, I love how his skin's crawling on his back. Oh, that's such a cool detail. It's returned. It's almost nine. What? Oh, boy. At least to start off together this season. <laughs> Didn't just go back to Steve. <laughs> I'm glad these two got together. I do love them together. No! <laughs> Not Bob. I miss Bob. He was such a good character. I just knew he was put in the show to be killed, though. I'm serious, Jonathan. I can't be late. You mean we can't be late? No, I mean... That bin, that's where Dart was. Now he's gone. Mate, poor Dart. And they're waiting for him. Is that why they're not answering? It's fucking Toy Story 4 here yeah, or something. Fucking hell. What a shark there behind it. I thought they'd be waiting for him. Oh yeah, of course Elk can do that. <laughs> I forget shit. Surprise attack incoming boy. Look at she's who's he gonna spray? Let's go spray. <laughs> Lucas is getting sprayed, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Correct. Oh, I do love their friendship, it's cute. It's been a happy start so far. With airiness in the background. Oh, they wait for a bit. Yeah, I thought so. Because <laughs> the <coughs> mic's moving finger last season. Are they really gonna. How could you have a fear against the glorious Mike's dad? He is like the best character. He sits in his chair all day and doesn't, doesn't, doesn't have a care in the world. Oh. Calm down, love! <laughs> Mate. Jeez. Fucking hell, up. <laughs> I need for them to break up. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> They're spending entirely too much time together. Jealousy. You agree with me about that. <laughs> the eye roll. <laughs> How about a piece of Iran? I want something local. I hear there's a beauty pageant. At Fucking the hell, what's year. Boris yeah. Johnson doing there? I'm looking for about the folds here, Bruce. And clearly, the missing mustard on my hamburger. So, okay, imagine I have to deal with these pricks. You think you can follow the clues and solve the case of the missing condiment, Nancy Drew? <laughs> Stay strong, Nancy. Throw it in his face. <laughs> Fucking hell. Look out, Phil. She might be after your job. One of a kind, battery powered radio tower. I love how happy he gets about all this. The Cadillac of ham radios. This baby carries a crystal clear connection over vast. You just get so happy just because how passionate he is about it. <laughs> Smooth. Uh, You're doing a great job. Here. What's happened, mate? What's happened, Steve? You've yeah. out of touch. Oh, oh, that's cool. <laughs> How could you turn down, Steve, mate? I, this is I want Steve to find happiness. <laughs> I really like him. And one the dust. Let's go out. Oh, <laughs> savage! <laughs> Mate, she's great. I like her already. <laughs> she, yeah, I was going to say, she's going to add another score. I love that Hopper's going through this character arc. <laughs> it's just it's great. Yes, it will. I promise. Come on. Maybe just kill Mike. I'm chief. The easy route. Do it. Oh, is Mike turning into one of those, mate? Ditching his friends for his girl. He needs to get out of that. It's not a good thing, ditching the bros. Will can't buy him, can't have a break, can he? Nope, and they all just instantly died. Oh, beautiful. He's actually helping out the rat population. He's destroying the rat population, what a guy. What the fuck is he doing to him? You can't betray our legend that is Mr. Wielder. Well, they did hint at this in season two, to be fair, so it's not like it came out of nowhere. I'm sorry. Are you going to share, mate? 
I would share if I were you. You seriously just drink the rest of our water? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Mate. Fucking hell, guys. Could use these kids on loss, couldn't they? She going to invite Hopper over. I don't give us a flashback of Bob. I don't think I can handle it. New! Why are they doing this to me? Why did they do this? I'm glad she didn't just get over him straight away though. Just move straight on top of her. Look how sick of Mike's just like, for fuck's sake man, you stuck my groove. Why are you making this harder, Mike? Fuck's sake. Look at the poor guy, he looks distressed. I was gonna try and make a private, private conversation. If you he totally stuck by a script, did he? Fuck's sake! I would admit Mike was being a bit of a little penis there, but fucking hell, Hopper. They are their own people. They're still up there. Oh, Lucas! Ooh, Lucas, careful, mate. That was amazing. <laughs> mate, Max just fucking savaging him. Mate, look at him. Man's living the life. How could you portray that? He's amazing. I love the dad. <laughs> mate, poor guy. Getting betrayed. No, up in there. Oh, he's by the factory shit. Is he the first to get it killed off? That would set the turn of the show if they do do that. Then his name given would be as well. Oh shit. They're actually going to kill him off. That definitely sets the tone. Fucking hell. Fuck! He might have. He didn't deserve that. Is that what episode's gonna end? Fucking hell! I didn't think they killed someone off so quickly. If he is dead, I'm assuming. That, let's just assume he is. Then um, that's really set the tone of this series. Like I know I watched the interviews where they're saying things were a bit darker. But yeah, and he, his name's. I think his name's Billy. So he goes in the line of Bob, 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 Bob. Bob. He didn't. He didn't deserve that. Like I had said, he he did. The mistakes he made with his sister, he did have a lot of problems with. Is that his dad obviously caused a lot of the problems? Yes, he shouldn't have out of his sister, but he doesn't deserve to die. So yeah, it kind of sucks for him that he, they are going to come off like that. But like I said, just set a nice tone of the show, a nice heartwarming episode. As the usual pacing of Stranger Things goes, it does like um, a bit more cheery for the first episode, chilling out, and then it gets onto more serious stuff. But with serious stuff in the undertone in the background, which I always enjoy. I enjoyed sort of like a little romancey bits there. I love Steve and that girl's interaction. I thought that was fucking great. And um, I actually quite like Max and Lucas's interaction. I'm not big. I'm not a big fan of Will and Eleven. Um, I find that Max being a bit of a prick, <laughs> um, abandoning his mates and that lot. But then again, he is young and he's just got in his probably first relationship, so understandable. Um, but you could, but Max and Lucas aren't doing that, so I'm just like, why can't they? Why are they doing it? Um, Elle seems to be talking a bit more normally as well now so I'll cover some of the years past so that's all pretty cool but yeah overall enjoyable episode guys I hope you enjoyed this reaction I hope to see you in the next one peace